So the, how does acupuncture affect our energy we are trying to build? Yeah, any anytime we do energy work, we have to be careful who's doing the work. So like a finely tuned car that you you have, if people know like a Ferrari, finely tuned by the Ferrari mechanic and everything is the engine is all tuned, everything is perfected. You take this and go down to the Toyota dealer and say, uh, sorry I couldn't go to my Ferrari service, can you fix this for me? And if the guy is very bold he'll say, yes of course I can and he retunes the entire <laughs> engine and destroys your entire car because he tuned it according to what he thinks he knows. But he's not qualified for that level of tuning. So that's the danger with acupressure, acupuncture and uh, acu anything. Anytime a lesser understanding is touching somebody they think everything is wrong. Why is it programmed like this? Because that's way above their programming. So they may deprogram people and reset different energies. So that's the risk that somebody takes when they just go somewhere and say, okay we'll start doing your acupressure and acupuncture and start you know changing my meridians and energies. That, that can be dangerous. So when we come and we meditate, a concept is happening is that you sit and you begin to meditate and you say that, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. Well from Budal, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtadul, Akhyar, uh, Jinni wa Ins, uh, Malaika, there are different categories of spiritual beings that are coming in front of you when you're meditating and you don't see them, most likely you won't feel them, some will feel them because they're very sensitive and they begin to change things. Means they're fixing the latayfs, they're changing, they're cleansing the body so that the soul can have an easy departure in and out because the body is continuously trying to lock like rooting itself to the soul. So there are malaika mutahireen that at night they come for the believer and mutahireen that there's special category of jinn and angels that come every night for certain servants and clean their body like a shell. Hmm. As their body is, is trying and their nafs is trying to root itself to the soul. So in their sleep they may see dark figures all around them and that's not your concern, don't, don't pay attention to them, don't try to be scared of them, just go to sleep. And their the responsibility is to come and to clean so that the body is clean from the soul so that the soul continuously can depart and move free from the body. So it means that this high level of programming and they meditate and, and the different categories of awliya may come and begin to calibrate their heart and their lataif. Well there's a lot of work being done behind the scenes. So when you go to a, a lesser philosophy and an and a idolatry where they don't believe in the oneness of Allah 